Things are heating up in the real estate market and we're not just talking about the housing prices. Ladies, I've got some big news. Selling Sunset's Chriselle Staus and her boss, Jason Oppenheim, shocked fans when they confirmed they are in a romantic relationship in July of 2021 with this Instagram post of the two and some of their co-stars on a trip in Italy. It came as a surprise as they never seemed to be anything more than just friends during the first three seasons of the show. The two first met back in 2019 when Chriselle joined the Oppenheim group. At the time, she had been married to then-husband Justin Hartley, while Jason was happily single. Because he seemed so set to live a bachelor lifestyle, Chriselle never thought to date him. I was a little intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. In season three, audiences got a glimpse into Chriselle's sudden divorce, where she remained heartbroken. But Jason was there for her as a friend to lend a shoulder to cry on. Just want you to know that, that we're there for you. Thank you. She then went on to compete as a contestant on Dancing with the Stars, where she briefly dated professional dancer Kyo Motsepe for three months in December of 2020 before their breakup, where Chriselle basically sweared off men. Being thrown into the market again, Chriselle was a hotter commodity than she realized, and Jason, knowing when to spot a good deal, was the first to put in an offer. Jason is a boss. Chriselle told Extra, he kind of, you know, sat me down and told me how he was feeling. I was like, wait, what? It was definitely a surprise for me and, you know, that kind of changed everything. She added that she's never been best friends first with her lovers, but totally recommends it. Jason even gushed about his new gal, telling In Touch she's just an exceptional woman in so many ways. He added, I have not only a ton of love for her, but also a ton of admiration and respect. And if you're wondering, they both have mentioned in interviews that yes, they are in love. The two have vacationed together and even met Jason's parents. Sounds like it's getting serious. But how did their fellow co-workers feel? Most took it really well. Mary, who was also Jason's ex, found out about it before they went public and noted that she was shocked at first, but really happy for her two good friends. She not only supported them from the beginning, but also helped them navigate their romance. She did give a warning for Jason, though, to not hurt her friend, who has gone through one too many heartbreaks. And I know this for a fact. Their other co-stars, Brett and Amanza, all left supportive and celebratory messages when they first became Insta-official. But perhaps it was Mary's husband, Romain, who takes the cake with his comment, where he jokingly said, so happy for you guys, finally people will stop with Jason and Mary, hopefully, alluding to the countless remarks of fans wanting a rekindling from the exes. There is one agent, however, who may not be thrilled that Chriselle is getting closer to their boss. Christine had been feuding with Chriselle since the beginning, and apparently they're still not on great terms. Toxic relationship having you in my life. Are you saying that you will not give me a chance to be your friend? It's just annoying. Chrishell told Extra if she had said something really loving and supportive and really nice, that would have shocked me. Then we would have something to talk about. Yikes. <laughs> the couple has faced a lot of backlash from critics who called their dynamic inappropriate, as they're in a working relationship, but Jason defends himself with Page Six, saying that people don't really understand the broker-agent dynamic, as she is more of an independent contractor than an employee. The two have also been mocked for looking awkward together due to their height differences, but Chrishell Michelle hits the haters back by poking fun of herself with the hashtag height is nothing but a number in a cute Instagram post. Way to go! As for the future, well, the couple hasn't thought too much of it yet, nor should they. Chriselle told Extra that she doesn't really know if she will get married because they can throw parties all the time, but she wants someone to be there when the party's over, and that if it's meant to be, it will come. So sweet! The 40-year-old also got candid about freezing her eggs, as she still would love to be a mother one day. Chriselle said in an inspiring message that, I think women, you know, we have a much bigger span for life than what was given to us before, and yet you take advantage of that. Sometimes if you put your career first, you know, things do get a little delayed more than they were before. But if you were hoping to get a glimpse into their romance in the fourth season, you may just have to wait a bit longer, as they had wanted to keep their relationship under wraps until they were certain it was going to work they didn't reveal much of it during filming. Well, it seemed like a wise decision because they took the right steps to get this blossoming romance today. I can't even possibly tell you how amazing that feels. We can't wait to hopefully catch this Selling Sunset romance in upcoming seasons. 
While dating your boss is known to be faux pas, this power couple proves that sometimes a little hot work romance may just be what it takes to close the deal in a committed relationship. Do you think they will last? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video if you want to stay up to date on the latest reality TV news, and we'll see you next time on The Things Reality.